welcome to Patricia's Orchids. This is a Care Club update video of my Cattleya Maxima. This I have the shorter upland variety from the western slopes of the Andes. Mine usually flowers at the end of October and has a lovely floral, slightly spicy scent to it. Last year I managed to mature eight out of ten pseudobulbs. Each of my leads usually grows two pseudobulbs, and I have five leads on my plant. While the flowers only last about three, three weeks, the orchid is usually in bloom for six weeks, as the flower spikes do not mature at the same time. At the beginning of spring, I increased the amount of slow-release fertilizer in the pot. Now that the grow season is in full swing, I have increased the frequency of watering and I never let the roots dry out completely. The grow lights are currently synced to come on at sunrise. If it is a bright day, I will turn them off when I go in the greenhouse. If not, I leave them on until noon. The day length is currently 14 hours. I will gradually increase this to 16 hours by June. 90% of my grow light use is in the morning as this is when plants are most photosynthetically active. My current location is 51 degrees north at 70 meters elevation. I find here that the sun is not too strong and they can go outside in July and August without any shade. So I turned some of my fans off. I'll just show you my uh, Cattleya Maxima in situ. So this is where it lives in the daytime. Okay. That's where it lives in the nighttime. Here we go. I'm just going to put it over here and show it to you. So. These are the three furthest new growths from the spring when I showed it earlier. There's this is the one that's furthest along, second, and third here. You can see they've grown quite a bit. Okay, this will be the fourth one, and this is the fifth one there. So I would expect all five of those to mature and then put a second new growth on after. Whether or not all 10 will mature enough, I don't know. But uh, it's all feeding and watering now. But I'm quite pleased with that. Okay, let's look at the roots. Well, you can see lots of new roots if you look down in the pot. with reasonable length growing tips. I would always take that to be a sign when an orchid is happy if the uh, green growing tip is long. is always a good sign for the roots. Mind you, maybe some orchids just have longer green growing tips. But, uh, yeah. I'll probably tidy it up a little bit sooner. So it's tied into the pot because it kept falling out. It's quite top heavy. Probably could use a bigger pot. I might see what I have. But, uh, yeah. That's the only sign of having bright light. Okay, I shall just put it back to get the maximum amount of light. Okay, and there it is. 
Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.